Appreciation and recognition matter. Let me tell you a story. From the time I was 12 all the way up until I was 17, it was me and probably eight or nine of my other really good friends that all went through this time of our lives together. The best part of it was primarily because we had the best scout master that any boy could ever hope for, Bruce. He was so dedicated to making sure that each and every one of us achieved the highest levels possible. I think some of the most important lessons that I learned from Bruce were teamwork, collaboration, and relying on each other. Troop 444, <laughs> back again in action. That's right. The thing I remember most about Bruce is any time you, you saw him, he had that genuine smile. It was incredible. And he had that way of influencing us to, to motivate us to do what we needed to do. Fast forward quite a few years to uh, a conversation that I'm having with my mom on the phone. How is Bruce? How's he doing? And she said, well, he has Alzheimer's now. And he really doesn't remember or recall a lot of things anymore. My name's Ruth Smith. My husband is Bruce. He loved the Scouts. It was important to him to, to do a good job and to have them achieve, and they had fun doing it. So then my mom says, you know what would be great, Jeff, is if you wrote a thank you card to Bruce and expressed to him your appreciation for all that he did for you during that time in your life. And I'm like, wow, what a great opportunity for me to practice what I preach because I teach these things to leaders and managers all over the world. And so I did just that. I sat down and I wrote him a thank you card, which actually turned into a letter because I had so much that I wanted to express to him. Dear Bruce, I wanted to take a moment and write a letter of appreciation for all you did as my scoutmaster back in the 80s. I'm sure I didn't appreciate it as much then as I do now. He was glad to hear that a scout would remember and appreciate all the work that went into it because it was, it was a lot of time, it was extremely time consuming. Even though I was only 13 years old, I remember tears coming to my eyes with joy and excitement as they announced that our troop had won the coveted Wakara Arrow Award. And you walking to the front of the whole camp to accept it. Thank you for your service, dedication, and inspiration. It will never be forgotten. We were sitting at the kitchen table when he read the letter and, and he set the letter down and he cried. And uh, because he, he, he knew that he was appreciated as a scoutmaster and it was such a special experience. I had no idea how good I was about to feel because a couple of weeks after that, I got a card back from Bruce's wife, Ruth. She wrote this card thanking me for the letter that I wrote. She said, Dear Jeff, thank you so much for your sweet letter of appreciation for Bruce. He doesn't know much about what is going on anymore but he knew who you were. And even though it is hard for him to read, he read every word and he cried. It is very frustrating to have Alzheimer's disease, but he read your letter several times. Thank you, love Ruth Smith. It was uh, extremely satisfying and, and enjoy, enjoyable. He, he loved the Scouts. He got to know them well when they, when they would do their outings, and so he, he would talk about different Scouts and how different they were. The yeah, sand dunes sense. were the greatest. I love, remember the time that uh, we were talking earlier, it snowed. Do you remember that? Simpson Springs with the horny toads. Yeah. Maple Dell. I remember I mean, Bruce we, walking down that, there and He was the man out. carrying the Wakira arrow because we hadn't got it until that year. I remember sliding down the snow on the tubes? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we talk a lot about appreciation and recognition to the point where a lot of people think that it's the same thing, and it's not. Appreciation is something that you feel. It's okay to appreciate, but you're really only halfway there unless you follow through and recognize that person. For the most part, we appreciate people all the time. And we assume that they know how we feel. But it's much better to remove all doubt and show that appreciation through a meaningful moment of recognition. This experience has helped me to realize the power that I have in using the principles of recognition to impact the lives of others. And we 
had a lot of fun. <laughs>